We've been talking about the migration problem at our southern border for a while, and in the last hour, we understand another bus apparently has arrived at the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. It downloaded a bunch of people. We are uns it sure looks like the buses that have been shipped uh, from Texas at the expense of uh, Texas Governor Abbott. Uh, $1,300 per person is what he's spending to send migrants to New York. When you look at the number of migrants bus so far by the governor, D.C. has got 7,700. Before this bus came in, New York City had 2,100, and Chicago just a little more than 150. And those numbers don't include the two buses that came in this morning. We had two right. that pulled into New York City, 81 people, 10 children. So Ooh, one, thing is, one thing is pretty, uh, uh, finally, Mayor Adams uh, sees what happened. Immediately he says it's barbaric, it's terrible. How could uh, Governor Abbott do something so cool, so, so unkind? And then he realizes, wait, I'm a sanctuary city. Why should, maybe on some level, he realized, why should New York be exempt in Texas, uh, be susceptible? And then he watches uh, all the attention go to the mayor of Chicago when she starts saying horrific things about the governor of Texas. So to his credit, uh, New York City Mayor Ad New York City Mayor Adams has sent a delegation down to see for himself what's happening at the border. I think he missed a great opportunity to go himself, well, go with Abbott. He said they had to go himself. because Abbott was unresponsive. Well, but yeah. Abbott asked him to come down in the very beginning. Over they and did over again. But what one of the reasons, and there you can see the delegation from New York City in Eagle Pass, and in addition to looking at that now infamous scene under that bridge where our live reporters are, they also toured a temporary processing facility packed with a thousand people. Now keep in mind, uh, a thousand people, oh, some of them will be heading for New York City. And one of the reasons he sent the fact-finding mission down there was because we've heard that the, the conditions are inhuman on the buses and we just want to make sure that people are not being tricked. So anyway, the mayor's office sent this statement out that said, the Texas governor's office has been unresponsive and has turned this matter into a political sideshow. We've sent members down of the team down on a fact-finding mission to hear directly from folks on the ground along the southern border and get real answers we're not getting from Texas, including whether they are seeking asylum seekers to send New York City, even if they prefer to go elsewhere. If you need to find the facts, here are the facts. The Joe Biden administration letting people in. Texas is going, we can't take care of all of them, so we're going to have to ship some people okay. out. Any further questions? It's that simple. Well, Governor Abbott, his press sec secretary responded saying, Governor Abbott's invitation is still open for Mayor Adams to come visit our southern border and see firsthand the devastating impacts of the Biden-made crisis on border, border towns smaller than an NYC borough instead of sending his staffers on a secret trip to Texas. Yeah. So if you don't stop, if you don't vote against this, if you see this and you're an American, and you're not outraged by this, and don't go to the vote and vote about this. We're if you we haven't seen nothing yet. It is they're going to come from uh, from everywhere around the world because this is the one opportunity where the president has totally dropped the ball and letting everybody in, including drug of uh, drug offenders, sex offenders. Uh, we know about the illegal drugs pouring across the border. If this if, if there isn't a a, uh, a staunch rebuke at the box office. Uh, at the ballot box in November, we are doomed for the next two years. Karine Jean-Pierre says no one is walking across the border. Remember that? Uh, also, that prompted Ted Cruz to act. Let's listen. But that's not, it's not like somebody walks over and <laughs> that's not, that's exactly not how. Exactly what's happening. It is not that simple. It's not just that people are walking uh, across, uh, across the border. Senator Ted Cruz has uh, publicly invited, suggested that you come down to see that for yourself. Who? You, Wait, Senator who? Ted Cruz of Texas. <laughs> He's, he's suggested that you come down and see for yourself whether migrants are actually crossing the border by foot. Um, is that something that you would take him up on? I certainly don't need lectures uh, or invitations from Republicans about the border or uh, border policies. And, um, you know, and I certainly won't take advice on border from, from anyone who voted uh, against uh, securing record level of funding uh, for the Department of uh, Homeland Security. So yeah, go just, read that from the uh, from her binder. Just like her boss, <laughs> yeah. she does not want to go down and see with her two 
own two eyes, people are actually walking across the border. Although, you know, Border Patrol is saying don't try to swim across the river because the water, you know, there's been a lot of rain and it's very perilous right now. And I think 10 or 12 people drowned last week. Don't do that. So she doesn't want to see it with her own two eyes, just like her boss, Joe Biden, who has never been to the southern border. He flew she into said... the airport. He might have seen the area near the border through the rearview mirror of his motorcade. Right. She said, we don't take invitations from, I don't need an invitation from a Republican. I don't need to be lectured. Okay. Senator Ted Cruz responded. Listen. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give a challenge, Corrine Jean-Pierre, right now. Come to this border, spend 60 minutes, one hour, with me and the Border Patrol Union. We will encounter dozens, if not hundreds, of illegal immigrants coming across. And if we don't, let's bring the entire White House press corps, and one of two things will happen. If we don't encounter anyone, I'll stand up and say I was wrong. But when we encounter hundreds of people crossing, do you have the courage and integrity to stand in front of the press corps you're lying to and say, I lied to you? That's what an honest White House press secretary would say. She you know, with one go. thing, the one thing that could change it, the buses are getting attention in the beginning. 20 people on a bus in D.C. It looked like it was fizzling. Now everyone's getting on because the illegals are saying, I'd love to come to New York. Uh, I prefer to go to Chicago. I don't really necessarily want to sit in a small town in Texas. It's overrun. It doesn't want me there. The other thing that they could do, if there's, if there's anybody, a real estate person who owns a significant part of, uh, of real estate in D.C., put it on a big screen. A live shot of what Bill Malusian sees every day. Just you will use our drone camera and just show it and see if the president will somehow glance over and other uh, lawmakers glance over and see the hell that's happening right now at our border. See how concerned we should be about our own security as well as the drugs that are pouring through. Right. Feel what the, uh, what the Border Patrol is feeling on a daily basis. That's the only thing. If someone had some property near the White House and Congress that could just project what's going on in Texas well, and Arizona. Well, and I, I think people want Biden to go visit. She's been invited to go visit go. now. They're commenting on the situation. She's saying they're not walking across the border, yet they've, they're not down there. They're right. not watching. They're not going. President Biden's been in office for two years now as president, and he has not, he's yet to go down there. And it's yeah. such a major issue for every American, and they're still not going down to witness it, but yet they're commenting on what's happening when they're not even down there to see it but themselves. They and Bill yeah. Malugin, our reporter, is down there saying they literally are walking across, right. and he shows pictures and videos. And and that's the point, Ainsley. Uh, I, Brian, I don't think they need a jumbotron across the street, because who knows if uh, the president would actually look out and see it. All he's got to do is look at a television set, because Bill Malugin has those images every day. And you know why they are denying th that there's a problem down on our southern border, this administration? Because it is an emergency. But they can't say it's an emergency because they're saying the border is under control. Mm -hmm. Because if they say there's a problem, that would mean what they're doing is wrong. They like the way they're doing it. Unfortunately for half the country, as according to poll, uh, the Pew poll, 48% say immigration is a major issue, and those images of people walking across the border are the major driver of because that. He's got to lose the Hispanic vote. If he loses the Hispanic vote, even 50-50 is a major loss for Democrats. He'll realize he has to change for his own preservation. But they know if they say it's secure and they don't go down there, they can continue that message because most of the channels are not going to show the video of them walking. It's totally across. irresponsible for them not to. It's all about national security. It's security in the pew poll up at the top. And, and then just right and everything else.